Today, I'm going to show you how to get three of the best weapons in Red Dead Redemption 2 for free. The Schofield Revolver, the Semi-Auto Shotgun, and the Lancaster Repeater are top tier weapons and can all be obtained as soon as you start Chapter 2. I like to wait after I have completed the mission Exit Pursued by a Bruised Ego in the beginning of Chapter 2. This is because I like to have the White Arabian Horse as the Schofield involves a store robbery and you'll want to flee immediately. I'll leave a video on how to get the White Arabian in the description. To get the Schofield, you'll want to head to the doctor's office in Valentine. Head around to the back of the building and you'll see a prompt in the bottom right to look through the window. Once you do this, you'll be able to rob the back room of the doctor's office. Walk in and point your weapon at the doctor and select the rob back room choice. Let me into that back room of yours right now. Sir, please. You don't want to get involved with them, I promise you. You make them open up, or you're a dead man. Hey, uh, open up. It's me. I uh, brought some food and whiskey for you fellers. Yeah, it's only the duck. Don't try anything funny. Put it on the table. You can see we're in the middle of some business here. Once you are inside, shoot everyone in the room and loot the money and the weapons case. You now have the Schofield revolver. However, you will hear the sounds of lawmen outside and they will start shooting you once you walk outside. This is why I like to have a fast horse so that I can run away from the lawmen and only get a 150 bounty. After getting the Schofield, we'll move on to getting the semi-auto shotgun. The semi-auto shotgun can be found at Watson's cabin in the western part of the map. I'll also pay off the bounty I got in Valentine at the post office at Wallace Station. Once you walk into the cabin, you'll be berated by the old lady inside. Just ignore her and walk to the back and to the right of the cabin and climb the ladder down to the cellar. There, you will see a weapons case containing the semi-auto shotgun. As you leave the cabin, the old lady will recognize that you've stolen the weapon, but she won't do anything. Wait a second now. Hey, wait, that's my gun. Right away from the cabin and make sure to maintain the gun as you find it in very poor condition. Lastly, we will head to Rhodes to get the Lancaster repeater. If you're still in Chapter 2, you won't see Rhodes on your map. Simply place a waypoint in the southern area of their map or just ride in that general direction. As you get closer to Rhodes, you will see the city name appear on your map, at which point you can set a more accurate waypoint. Once you arrive in Rhodes, head to the gunsmith. On the exterior right side of the building, you will see a prisoner behind bars in the basement of the gunsmith. Question the prisoner and then you will be able to rob the gunsmith's basement. Walk into the gunsmith and point your weapon at him. Select the rob basement choice and he will unlock the basement and walk down. Right now. Nothing or no worse down there, I swear. Why don't I be the judge of that? Open it now! All right, all right! I ain't got nothing to hide. I've got my boy sleeping down there. That's such a you shame. Know, you can always him. come back after he wakes up. Follow him into the basement, and you'll see the story unfold of why this person is locked in the basement. Stay away from me. Now, what I tell you about talking to your pa that way? Oh, oh, thank God. He can't see. I only do it for his own good. Why are you wearing that sailor suit? That crazy maniac put me in it. He thinks I'm his kid's son. Kidnapped me, he did. Do I look like a kid? <laughs> Always in such a rush to grow up these days, aren't they? Just what the hell is going on here? He was being a bad little boy, stealing candy from the store again. It's for his own good. I'm not your little boy, you mad son of a bitch. After exchanging dialogue between both the prisoner and the gunsmith, simply shoot the chain off of the wall and the mission will be complete. After the gunsmith is done apologizing, you can loot the weapons case containing the Lancaster repeater in perfect condition. With these three weapons, you will be set for most of the game and they didn't cost you anything. But there's one more bonus weapon I want to talk about. 
The Springfield rifle is very useful for getting clean three-star kills on medium and large animals. However, there is no location where you can simply pick up the rifle for free. However, if you ride in the area surrounding Valentine, it's very likely you'll come across this guy. This man has been bitten by a snake and requests you to suck the venom out. Oh, I got bit. Oh God. Oh, oh, I need medicine or a siphon. All right. All right. Quit moaning. Oh, Christ. Oh, oh God. Let's keep this between us. After you do this, the next time you return to Valentine, this man will be sitting in front of the gunsmith and will call you over. Wallace, this here's the kind soul I was telling you about. The one that, uh, got the venom out of your leg? <clears throat> mm -hmm. I guess so. Listen, friend, I know I can never repay you, but... How about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well... Thanks. After the dialogue is finished, you can walk into the gunsmith and pick out one free item. It's at this point that I almost always pick the Springfield rifle, otherwise it costs $120 and that can be tough in the early game. Most of the other weapons will still be locked in the early game as well, so the Springfield rifle makes the most sense. And that's all I have for you today. With these weapons, you will be set for most of the game. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I'll see you guys in the next video.